Amen. Because you're such a sorry Christian. And so now you have no faith. Why? You've let the devil convince you that you cannot have faith. Amen. 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 So you let the sorry, no good devil rob you of 99.9% .9 of all the fruit you can eat in paradise except for the one that God said don't eat. You're going to let him rob you so that you can't eat none of it. Why? You ain't got no faith. No faith. The devil hates Christians that pray. You know who shows up when you pray? You say God shows up. Yeah, God shows up. You say the Holy Ghost shows up. Yeah, Holy Ghost shows up. You say Jesus shows up. Yeah, Jesus shows up. You know who I shows up? The devil shows up. He's going to show up. He's going to do. You know what he's going to do? Johnny, he's going to put stuff in your mind that you go, you know, before I got saved, I never even thought of stuff like this. Why are these vulgar things going through my mind? I just don't understand it. Well, that's because Mr. Smutty's there, amen? <laughs> and he don't want you praying. He wants your mind on the world. He wants your mind on anything except prayer. Mm -hmm. Amen. He don't want you to have that prayer answer. Mm -hmm. Selfishness stops it. Faith stops it. The devil stops it. So there you are, you know, Mr. Little Christian, you know. I need some help, but you ain't going to get no help because it's all selfish. When's the last time you actually were on your knees weeping and a crying for some soul? Oh, you're backslid. Mm -hmm. I'll put it this way. He said, I'm such a bad Christian, oh wretched man that I am. Who should deliver me from this body of death? There is only one person that can deliver you, and that is Jesus Christ Himself. That is God only. And the Lord wants to answer your prayers. In Matthew 17, 20, I tell you how much He wants to answer your prayers. He said, uh, if you go <coughs> to the mountain, it'll go in the sea. All you got to do is say, Mr. Mountain, go in the sea. He said, how much, how much faith do you have? Uh, uh, take, take the whole bunch. Seed of a mustard seed. That's the smallest seed there is. Mm -hmm. Man, it don't take a whole lot. Right. Amen. Right. Problem is, most Christians won't do it. Mm -hmm. They won't do it. <laughs> Amen? You're not going to do it. You know why? You don't believe in your prayers. You don't believe in the Bible. He said it takes a little mustard seed. That's it. And you can have anything you want. You can move mountains, stuff like that. Amen? Somebody say amen. 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 <coughs> You say, well, how do I get this faith so I can get my prayers answered? Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh hearing and hearing by the Word of God. How do you get faith? By hearing. By what? Hearing the Word of God. By going to church. By reading the Bible. Amen. i tell you another way that you hear it. Amen. You hear it when you tell somebody else, amen, your testimony. And you tell somebody about the miracles God's done for you. Or you say, is that bragging? You better believe it. Amen. And the more you brag on God, how God did this for you and God did that for you, the more faith you get. Amen. The more faith you get. Amen. The more faith you get. Amen. How do you do it? You tell somebody. You need to come to church. You need to come to hear my crazy preacher. Amen. Uh, he loves telling some of the craziest stories.
Praise the Lord of the Bible. Amen. You need to come hear this guy. Amen. 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 And then that night you weep, poor soul. Mm -hmm. And you don't go to bed. Mm -hmm. And you just cry your eyes out. Saying, God, if he don't get saved, he's going to die and go to hell. He's going to burn up for the rest of his life. I tell you, that a heavy prayer life right there. Amen. Hey, 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 you got to have faith. You got to have faith. You got to believe. Faith is believing. You know what? My kids, when they were, when they were young, we went to go to a hotel and it rained. I think I told the story before. And, and 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 one day, you know, we made it stop raining because we all prayed and it stopped raining. Because we had enough faith just to make it stop raining. We just prayed that God make the make the rain go away. Twenty minutes later, we went swimming. When it, when we stopped uh, swimming, it started raining all week, all week long. You say why? We had the faith to believe that God would answer our prayer. Amen. Even as trivial as that. <laughs> Even as trivial as that. Amen. Amen. And you don't think God is interested in some of the other prayers? Mm. Now, I will say this. You're in church. Amen. So, Amen. you say, I don't have any faith. You have enough faith to come to church? Amen. Amen. Sound like you have a little faith. Amen. 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 Somebody say amen right there. Amen. You have enough faith to come to church. Amen. amen. Takes faith. Takes faith that God will speak to you through preaching. Takes faith to believe that uh, if I read my Bible, I'm going to get something out of it. It takes faith to believe, amen, that if I talk to God, God will help me. Hebrews 10 38. Now the just, that's supposed to be the Christians, the just shall live by what? Faith. How are we supposed to live by? Faith. But if any man draw back from his faith, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Let's pretend it's a fight. Okay? What kind of fight y'all like? Pick a fight. <laughs> let's, let's, let's pick guns, all right? We're, we're in an army, all right? We're shooting. We're in our foxhole, okay? We got our gun. They're shooting. Boom. Martyrs are going off. Boom. You know, the captain goes, charge! He dies. Boom. You know, they keep shooting. Boom. The next captain gets up. Charge! Boom. He blows up. Charge! Let's keep going. And you go, mm, I think I'm going to stay in my box off. <laughs> and if I pick up my head, I'm going to get shot. Mm. Oh, you're going to back up. Mm. You're going to back away from the fight. When the devil comes to fight you over prayer, you're going to back up. Mm. Is that what you're going to do? No. I'm thinking all these dirty thoughts, I better quit praying because you know this ain't working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, all these bad things have been happening, so I guess I better stop quitting going to church. <coughs> you know, all these bad things have been happening, so I better stop I better quit reading my Bible. Mm. You have no way you backed up. Mm. God's gonna shoot you in the back. He says, I have no pleasure in you. Mm. It would not, it would not shock me if you turned around and ran the other way and God tricked you. Mm. Wow. He has no pleasure, no pleasure in a man that backs up. Mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going, yes. keep yes. going, yes. keep yes. going, yes. keep yes. going. Yes. I don't care how selfish you are. Yes. Pray, God, take away the selfishness. Yes. God, I have no faith. I want faith. God, yes. keep going, keep going, keep yes. going, yes. keep going. Amen. 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 Faith. You want to read about faith? Look at the book of Hebrews. It's the book of faith. All the people that had faith. They had faith to do this. They had faith to do that. You got Abel in there. You got Enoch in there. Enoch is a guy that walked with God. And, uh, you know, they're talking because they're buddies. 
How come you ain't talking to God every day? Maybe you're not his buddy. Maybe you're just not his buddy. Enoch talked to God every day. You know what? They got close, and they was walking one day, and God said, this close to my house or your house. You want to come to my house? Enoch said, yeah, let's go. He didn't care about death. He didn't even die. He just disappeared. Next thing you know, he's in heaven. Amen. I like that. Amen. amen. A man, uh, amen, that has that much faith, amen, I like that, amen, that can talk to God every day. Amen. No, had faith. Abraham had faith. Amen. The more times you read your Bible, you get faith. Amen. The more times you read about other men's lives, you have faith. I'll give you a good man to read. Missionary books, amen, uh, that had great faith. Uh, common man, there is uh, uh, Watchman Nee. He is a good book. If you find a book, you go to the library and he probably get you a copy. And then it's in the 1600th century, 16, 1700, good books. Anything written today? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's what I consider of anything written in the last hundred years. These men didn't have planes and trains and cell phones. These men talked to God. George Mueller. <laughs> Let me tell you about George Mueller. George Mueller was a man. He said, I started an orphanage. He said, I had 50 cents in my pocket. 